All right, so I'm here with a episode of Rantamania. Got a couple of requested video topic topics to talk about. Um, but but again, if you know, I'm gonna talk about all the requested video topics here. Um, and I'm I'm also gonna mention these other ones that I've, that I've been requested to do. So I'm gonna mention all the video topics I've been requested. Um, I got a one to do like top theme songs in WWE and pay per view themes. I'll get to that later. I mean, I know the guy who requested it, but uh, you know, uh, I think there's more important things to get to. I will get to that one. But you know, I want to when there's something you know, if I get a day where there's you know nothing to do, nothing to talk about for me. I'll get to that later. So I don't mean to like degrade the the uh, important. You know, it's not really important, but you know, I'll get to it. But there's just more important things in the company in the world that you know that I can talk about. So, um, you know, the first, uh, I got a video request here. Um, it, it's about, uh, oh, and if, and if, if I forgot to do your video request or if I didn't mention it, let me know about it again because often I forget to write it down and shit. So I apologize if I forgot to do yours, just write it in again. So first one I got a, I got a video request to talk about Coney, for that Coney 2012 to to help uh, to hunt down this guy. I think his his last name was Coney. I think his first name was Joseph Coney. So I so I got a little um, little information. Did some research on this company. Um, so the company, what was the name of the company? Invisible Children was the name of the company, and. Uh, so it talks a little bit about the revenue it received in 2012. So here we go. 2012 it received um, 31.94 million dollars in revenue. Um, its total expenses were 15.98 million. Then it goes on to talk about what percentages of expenses, like where the expenses were. You know, like 81.48 percent was on media mobilization, protection, recovery, and yada yada yada. That's not really that important. Then it talks about in 2010 its revenue was 8.2 million and half was restricted. So it, it could only be spent on specific programs. So they couldn't do just whatever the fuck they wanted with the money. They had to spend it on certain shit. Um, in 2011 revenue was 13.7 million and 5.66 million of that was restricted. So not as much as in, uh, not as much percentage as in 2010, but still, you know, a big chunk. So then we move on to 2012. And then the revenue was 31.939 million, but um, just 1.28 was restricted. So I mean, in 2011, you have, what, about, you know, a little less than half there being restricted. Um, in 2010 you have half being restricted and then 2012 which was their big year they got a bunch of a shitload of money only 1.28 of it out of the 31 million was restricted so a big fucking you know that's what three percent maybe a big fucking decrease in the restricted amount of money so they could just do whatever the fuck they want with about 30 million dollars you know as opposed to like it was half before so yeah, you know, something suspicious there. And it was very successful, you know, they had that ad, it got like one of the most popular videos of YouTube history. I think if they said it like it was the fastest to reach, I think it was 100 million views. So very fucking popular, they got all this money. You think they would find the guy, you know, being very popular and shit. Nothing, nothing, you know, they didn't find him at all. They did not find Joseph Coney. And you know, America likes to say, oh, we're the, we're the protectors of the world, we protect everybody. The only reason we go to other fucking countries is because of money. It just boils down to that. Why were we in Iraq? For the oil. Why are, Why were we in Afghanistan? For the trillion dollars of lithium we found there. If, if there's not an economic value to gain from wars, then we don't go there. We don't do the wars. Like Rwanda, you know, half a million people to a million people estimated were killed. We didn't, have, we didn't want anything to do with that because we couldn't get anything economically from it. Same thing with this situation. There's nothing to gain economically. Economically, uh, if we go into Uganda, there's nothing there that that could benefit our economy. So we don't. We just don't go there. So I mean, you know, this company, 
you know, sounds a little fraudulent to me. You know, it's like, sounds like they just want their money and they never even got this Coney guy or whatever. So, um, next topic here. Let me just pull up my topics here. Uh, I got a request for you to talk about commentary. I think JBL and Michael Cole <clears throat> do have charisma, do have commentary skills. They know how to fucking call a match. But it's just they got the fucking headsets on and Vince McMahon and whoever are telling them what to say. So it's pretty obvious. I mean, like when JBL first came back at, at Night of Champions in 2012, I believe that was a year, you could tell, you know, he was very, you know, they, didn't, they weren't telling him what to say. He was saying pretty much whatever he wanted. Then as it went along, you know, it, it, it became clear that they were telling him what to say more. So, I mean, just like Punk when he went on his big hot streak in 2011, he was pretty much allowed to do whatever the fuck that he wanted, and then he got watered down. You know, it's pretty obvious these commentators are told what to say. And if Vince McMahon just stops telling the commentators, I mean, he's not a fucking commentator. I mean, I, I know he was a long time ago, but just let him, you know, let him formulate their own personalities. Don't fucking let, don't fucking try to formulate and create a new personality, you know. You always hear the phrase, be yourself, don't be somebody else. Well, that's Vince McMahon is trying to do, he's trying to create somebody else. I think, you know, a lot of people hate Michael Cole. I think he has talent. I think he's good, especially as a heel. He was funny as a heel. Go watch his uh, commentary on NXT. I mean, they have clips of it on YouTube. You know, he was funny as a fucking heel. I liked him as a heel. They should have kept him heel, but Jerry Lawler, Jerry Lawler had a heart attack, which turned him babyface overnight. Um, next thing here, just a little bit, you know, I want to talk, touch on this for a minute or two. You know, Orton fans and, you know, people saying Brian sucks. You know, I, I seriously do not understand how you could fucking even say Brian sucks. You know, people are saying, oh, he's a Chris Benoit wow, ripoff. That's what I've been hearing from some Twitter people. You know, oh, he's a Chris Benoit wow, ripoff because he uses two of Chris Benoit's moves. It's like every single fucking wrestler in the company uses moves from other wrestlers. So you cannot say that. You know, two of his moves are Chris Benoit's. The cross face and um, uh, the flying headbutt. And it's it, it's not like, you know, he's fucking using them to, you know, fucking criticize Chris Benoit or degrade him. He's using him it as a tribute to him, you know. It's just fucking retard. Oh, Chris Benoit rip off. You know, same thing when Damien Sanda did the crossface on Cena. Oh, it's, uh, it's fucking Chris Benoit. And, and they also fail to realize, you know, just because he's dead does not mean he's fucking... You know, he's fucking, that moves off limits. People could still do the move. You know, sh sh should we call Orton a fucking DDP ripoff for doing the fucking diamond cutter? You know, I don't have a problem with other wrestlers stealing other wrestlers. Not stealing, using other wrestlers' moves. And, and Brian's a great wrestler. He's got great and high impact moves. And people think they're cool when they say, oh, Brian sucks. All he does is chant yes and he has a big beard. Uh, shut the fuck up. All right. He's a great wrestler. He's got a good promo. And, you know, people will still back Orton and say, oh, he's great. When he botches a lot, he uses a ton of rest holds and wrestles slow matches. You know, that, that's a fact, too. You know, he botches a lot. He uses a lot of rest holds. And he uses a lot of fucking basic moves. That's pretty much a fucking fact. You cannot debate that. Next one, Cena, you know, they're trying to surround him with all these legends, like, remember when Ric Flair returned and then Cena just comes out, you know, trying to feed off Ric Flair. They also did it at the, at the Slammies, and I think it was the 2012 Slammies, they had John Cena giving the Slammy to fucking uh, Ric Flair. It's like, you know, oh, Ric Flair, you're superstar of the year, yeah, bullshit, alright, and it never works either. There were, you know, when they try to do this, try to make Cena seem like a great guy, you know, associate him with popular guys who are more charismatic and better than him, it never works. It never fucking works. You know, WWE should just give up and trying to sit here for John Cena because we never are unless he fucking turns heel. So, you know, just associate legends, you know, like Hogan and uh, Flair with people who are actually good. 
like you know the shield young guys who they can help promote and make into bigger stars we don't need fucking hogan and cena you know in a fucking program we need to see hogan with the younger guys trying to promote them make them into bigger stars cena already is the, the top guy he doesn't need any more promoting next one i want to talk a little bit politics here you know took an, you know i'm taking an interest in politics since you know the government basically holds our lives in their hands they could basically destroy us you know if they fucking wanted to so i mean you should be taking an interest in politics as an american citizen or you know even if you're not an american citizen you should still have an interest in government and shit so there's this you know report oh the government's gonna cut the military to the size it was before um world war ii i don't have a fucking problem with this you know it's like what are you feeling fucking danger now what there's no fucking threats in the world right now that could legitimately take us over what is fucking you know china gonna invade us you know invade california invade fucking florida and take us over like that no they're fucking not. i can't snap i can't not this hand like that haha <laughs> you know no they're not you know it's, there's no fucking threats in the world you know why why are people fucking mad about this you know you know we spend you know it used to be we spend um the defense spending we spent was you know the, the, we were first in the next 26 countries ahead of us if you combine all our defense spending we spent more than them now it's like the next 10 in line you know if you combine all our defense spending we we spent more we spend more than them so you know, I don't have a fucking problem with this. But there's no legitimate danger out in the world that's going to just take us over. Nobody's going to do an invasion on us and just take us over like that. You know, it's just shut up, you know. We're, we're, we're still the greatest fucking military in the world by fucking far. I mean, nobody even is even close to us. And why do we need to keep creating more shit? I heard we have like, you know, um, I think it was like we have 19... Um, <coughs> aircraft carriers and the rest of the world has 12 or some shit we have like twice as more as the whole rest of the world has so why do we need to create more and why do we have to create more nukes i mean we already have enough nukes to destroy the world so why do we need more they're trying they're creating nukes more nukes why do we need more nukes when we could already destroy the world with all the nukes we have what's the point i mean seriously and why are why do we even have nukes at all well, you know, do people want to destroy the world? Is that how our mentality is going to be? Last man standing wins. So, there's my little spew on that. Next one, the, the Battle Royal. Um, you know, the, the, this Andre the Giant Battle Royal makes no fucking sense. I mean, oh, you get a big trophy. Big deal, I've won fucking trophies before. You know, it, it's not about the fucking trophy. It's about, you know, the fucking result. I mean, you know, oh, you win a big trophy and shit, but the trophy is stupid. Actually, you know, you know, as I said, it's about the result. You know, it's about something that could benefit you. So why don't we have a prize? You know, like I was talking to somebody on Twitter. Why don't we have a prize? Number one contender for the IC or US belt. You know, or maybe like a money in the bank thing for the IC or US belt. That would sort of be entertaining, don't you fucking think? You know, money in the bank or some shit like that. You know, or the one uh, Twitter account, Marks on Commentary, suggested, you know, immunity from being fired. Another good idea there. Something that could actually benefit you. Oh, I have a big fucking trophy with Andre the Giant. Look at my big fucking trophy. Nobody gives a shit about fucking trophies, all right? You know, I have a ton of them. And, you know, it's stupid, you know. But, you know, they should actually have a legitimate prize. You know, not just a fucking trophy. And uh, another thing. There's going to be a lot of fucking guys in this, you know, and so where, where are they going to get these 30 people from? I mean, there's going to be a ton of fucking jobbers in here. A ton of fucking jobbers. So, I mean, it's basically pointless. They should have made it like 15 at most, maybe even 10. So, yeah, I just thought that was, it's going to be a jobber battle royal. So, uh, yeah, if you want to request a topic for me to do, if you want to request a, uh, classic old school pay-per-view for me to review let me know i know i got a request a request to do wrestlemania 14 
I'll get to that when I can. Still gotta watch it a little bit. So yeah, if you, if you want to request a video, comment below or ask me on Twitter at Ruthless Ranner. There you go, people.